Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome to month two. So this is August and I'm taking off from where I left off last time. So I've kind of run out of food and nails and stuff like that. So apparently there's an airfield in the kind of northwest, which is more or less where my base is situated. The north northwest is where I am. So I'm going to try out and uh, find this airfield because there's probably barracks and cafeterias and stuff so I can get some food probably some more weapons and ammunition and uh, hopefully it's going to be good so I'm just going to run up there and yeah probably hopefully stay alive so I think I've just reached the perimeter of the airfield this looks kind of militant with these fences and there's a lot of zombies around here and you can see the kind of fortifications and stuff so this would be a really good place if I survive in a few months to uh, make a you know really good base. Holy shit! So I'm just going to try and clear these zombies out. I'm just going to try and bunch them. Um, that was shocking. Right, so I just need to keep my front to them. I'm not doing incredibly well here, but I do need to take all of these out. Well, it's just going to come back to haunt me, I think. Shit. Right, time to reload. Hopefully. Problem is when you're scared you reload really slow. So knocking on these can sprint yet. Look at that, little party going on. Rave. Okay, that'll do for the time being. Alright, they're a bit more bunched now as well, which is good. That's the uh, the spread on the shotgun's decent. We got beta blockers. What the fuck? Right, I've never been up here before. So, right, that's really confused me. And I mean, legitimately, I'm not like, oh yeah, I haven't been up here before. Oh no, shit, I have been up here before. Sorry, <laughs> I came up here in the last episode. Right, I didn't realise these two places were so close. That really confused me then. I've never actually been to the airfield though. The lion share of the zombies I've dealt with, um, so that sounded a bit Yoda then. I don't know why I said that sentence backwards, but um, yeah, you can see them all just lying down, having sleep or whatnot. So um, I'm just going to go right into the airfield and hopefully get some food and water as well. But um, yeah, it looks pretty cool. There's a lot of it's been barricaded up already by the military. There's a lot of storage planks and stuff, so I'm going to be able to get some good industrial magical gear from here, hopefully. A lot of shotgun shells, which is what we need. As, uh, I like going a bit haywire with my shotgun. So yeah, uh, I'm in sheer shock here at the moment. Uh, there's a lot of planks and stuff, not really interested. And oh, that's locked. I've got my axe in my backpack. Um, so... If I do find myself having to smash my way through something, it's not really a problem. That's a shit ton of shotgun shells, which is always nice. And a uh, box of nails as well for the win. So I need to find some food fairly quickly. I think. Can I smash this window? But I can't climb through. Right, okay. Climb through. Oh, yeah, I can't climb through. Right, that's alright. So this looks like a cafeteria thing. So I'm just going to eat some food and advance onto the airfield. It's now the next morning and I've come through to the kitchens. I had a little sleep in the chair. I ate too much so, you know, just decided to have a little sleep. So I'm going to take a second duffel bag. Um, and I think I can equip one of these secondary as well yeah right so if I just equip that secondary I can now put more stuff in there which is good um, so yeah I'm very well fed I'm going to come back here on the way back home because there's a shit ton of food um, but unfortunately a lot of it's perishable Jesus Christ the light in here is ridiculous um, so I need to find like chocolate and cereal and stuff like that so I'm just going to head out back onto the airfield and um, see what I can see. I don't know why I'm trying to fucking sleep. 
Right, okay. So, early morning hunting, I think. And uh, I've got a shit ton of shotgun shells. I'm not going to waste them, but I am going to kill everything I see. Which isn't a waste, really. So, I've got to a bit of a predicament. Um, I was just walking around the corner, and apparently there was a shit ton of zombies inside that building. I shot one, and they all smashed through the windows. So, um, I don't know what was in there, but... Yeah, looks pretty good. So, I don't even know how many I've killed so far. It's got to be a few hundred, I think. Um, probably killed about 60 and stuff before I came in here. And, uh, yeah, still got a lot of shotgun shells. Don't know why I've just got three random ones in there. Um, but I'm just going to take care of the rest of these. I should really be grouping them. Um... But as I said, I'm in a place where there's a lot of shotgun shells. And, um, yeah. I need to find a way into the airfield. And it's... I think it's this way. I think it's to the right. I don't know why I went round the other way. But I think this is the main entrance. And, uh, yeah. Hopefully I can uh, I can get in. Have we got any shells? Yeah, it must be fully loaded. So the zombies just seem to be appearing from absolutely fucking everywhere at the moment. Um... Just take care of these. Shit. For some reason it's not letting me reload my shotgun. Not entirely sure why. Okay, that's strange. Um I might have to get my axe out here, which is a bit of a pain in the arse. Reload. Is it broke or something? Conditions fairly decent. Um, repair shotgun. Shit. Um, what the fuck? Sorry, this is massively confusing. Right, I'll put some more shells in my main inventory and see if that helps. So it seems that my shotgun is utterly fucked. Um, so this could be a lot harder. As my fella's not amazing with an axe, and there's a lot of zombies as well. Shit. Fucking. Yeah. So. My fella's such a fanny as well. He's got like the swing of a three year old girl. Ah, come on. Fucking hell. Right, okay. So, yeah, this, <laughs> this could be really interesting. This could be like a hit and gun, a hit and run kind of thing. Right, there we go. Let's try and deck this one. And this one again. And that one again. And then that one again. Right, okay. So there's two down. So how many have I killed so far? Let's just have a look. 179. So that's not bad. Um, I'm quite pissed off about that shotgun thing. I really don't know why that's not working. The condition was down to half. But if I can find another shotgun in one of these boxes, I will uh, definitely take it. Okay, shit, that's a zombie security guard in there. Still working his job after everything that's happened. Which is always good to see, that type of commitment. So my new mission is to now look for another pistol or shotgun as that's happened. I could be being completely dumb, but I, I just really don't know why that, that has happened. So I think this is the main airfield that looks like something off Tron. Um, but without the cool kind of lights, so... I'm just gonna have to get into get into one of these buildings and check for a shotgun, as I said before. And I'm probably gonna go into this hangar. It's very daisy, kind of northeast airfield. Apparently, there's a fire station as well, which is identical to the daisy one. So, fucking hell, right? I'm gonna get zombified if I uh, continue at this rate. Guys, just got like the the fitness level of. I don't know. Jared from Subway or something. For fuck's sake. So I just managed to get rid of them zombies and I'm now in the hangar. And this doesn't look like a place where you'd uh, you'd find a plane. But hopefully it's a place where you can find the shotgun. So there's a hammer. I think I can actually I'm not too sure, but I think you can repair the shotgun with wood glue. That might sound a bit odd. Um, repair shotgun potential repairs so I need a shotgun what the fuck 
All right, now I can't. All right, so I just need to find a brand new one. So I'm just going to throw that wood glow on the floor, as I don't need it anymore. Right, okay. Uh, duct tape. I could repair it with rape tape. I don't know. I think we'll be all right. Hammer. Shit ton of nails though, so be able to do some building later on. Rope, right. I need this for my uh, light fixtures as all the electricity has gone out in the, well, everywhere as far as I know. And you need that to tie flashlights to a plank and make, well, yeah, basically just make a light fixture. So that's good as I was looking for that for quite a while. Still no shotgun though. Um, twine. Nails. Might as well take them as well. I can never have too many nails. I'm just going to go further up the airfield as there was generally jack shit other than a shit ton of nails in there. And, you know, I'm happy to get nails. That's, that's fine. You always need nails, as I said before. So many fucking zombies though. And uh, I'm just going to have to jump over here and hopefully find a shotgun. So it's just getting a bit ropey. And that zombie's a complete tit. So, boom. Oh, fuck. Maybe not boom. Uh, I actually fell down some stairs which were glitched before, hence why I'm in a bit of pain and my guy's being more of a complete fanny than usual. So, alright, these look like army things. So if I can clear these zombies out. I can check these barracks. So this is just amazing, like the helipad and stuff. I'm very impressed. And a medical thing there, so this could be worth checking out fully. Just gotta clear these bastards. Right. You did. So I'm just in the medical tent and I found some beta blockers and some vitamins, which I'm gonna take now. Or vitamins, whatever you wanna call them. Depends on where you're from, like the chips, crisps scenario, as mentioned last time. So I'm just going to take some painkillers as well, because my fella's whining like, like a girl. Um, and I'm actually going to take them back with me. So if anything, I've got a shit ton of rope, a shit ton of painkillers. And uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. I mean, the, the bases are, they just look absolutely brilliant. It'd be so cool if you could fortify this, but to do it on my own would be very difficult. So I'm still looking for a shotgun. Um, it seems to be a pen. How the fuck am I? What? Um, some scissors, which I don't need. And what else have we got? Nails, plank, bucket, twine. You do need a bucket if you plaster. Um, I've not really got any intention of doing that just yet. I might do it later, I'm not too sure. Where the fuck have these just come from? Hey girls. Ah, oh, fuck off. Trout. Okay. Boom. Fucking, ah. For an old woman, she's quite strong. Right, come on. Come on. All right, she's dead. Right, okay. So if not, I will just get some food and uh, head back to base because I need some sleep. I'm in pain and I don't really want to sleep here. Shotgun shells again. That's like kind of teasing me a bit, you know. So there's some shotgun shells, but your shotgun shit. And more shotgun shells again. Jesus fucking Christ. Really? A pistol would do, I suppose. If I can find a pistol, I'll be such a bad problem. Hunting, oh wow, hunting, I've never seen one of them before, so I'm definitely going to take that. And right, we found the pistol, so I'm going to equip that into my primary. And I am going to drop my shotgun in there. If you can. I'm very exhausted as well. Oh no. Okay, so running like a, I don't know but weird so if I just put them into my main inventory unpack them out the box uh, and then ok 
Yeah, it's strange, it doesn't seem to. Okay, right, there's something going on here, this is just really weird. Can I unpack them now? Right, there we go. Right, the real. Oh, for fuck's sake, are you serious? Right. I, d I just don't know what's going on. So, I seem to have sorted out the pistol problem. And, um. I th well, I think I have anyway. Yes, I have. Right, okay. So, we can pistol the night away. And hopefully, you know, kill a few of these off. Um. I, th I think I might head back. I'm not too sure. Yeah, I'm gonna head back before it gets too late, and I can always come back here another time. So I was quite impressed with the uh, the airfield. I thought it was decent. There's some good stuff, and uh, I'm just gonna take some more painkillers and get some food on the way back, because not in the best of uh, only slight damage at the moment, which is all right. It's uh, it's livable. But I haven't got enough food, and I can't walk around the barrel. Okay, right, that's fine. So, yeah, it's just going to have to head back after quite an eventful evening. It's now a couple of days later, and I've decided to come on a food run before I start doing some building. And I've found this kind of, I think it's a hotel. Um, I'm not too sure. I'm just going to have to smash this window because it's pissing me off. So, I'm just going to climb through there. It's just easier. So there could be some Zeds in here, I'm not too sure. Uh, this looks like a changer room of some sort. Maybe a sauna. I don't know, maybe a dodgy men's club. Um, a lot of brothels on this game. And uh, there's some water there, which is good. So I'm going to fill a water bottle. 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 Um, sorry, I'm chatting shit. And what else have we got? Have we got anything? Some candles. Uh, I thought there'd be a lot more in here. I hate being disappointed by shit on this. Alright, okay. Maybe not so disappointed. Um, what the fuck, where have we gone? What? I actually don't understand what's going on. I just seem to have disappeared. So, right, I'm going to grab... Grab... Yeah, I'll take all this fruit. And there's a dead mouse as well. Which is good. Can't go wrong with eating dead mice. Um, like I was saying earlier, I do need non perishables, chocolate, and cereal, really. And uh, just live off that until my plants start growing properly. And uh, maybe that's not the way I'm going to get good food. So I think there's some houses and some residential down this way. So I'm just going to follow this path and hopefully find some chocolate and cereal. This is the residential I was talking about. It's took me a lot longer to find than I thought it would. And there's the owner of the house just inside there. So um, There's normally quite a few zombies in the residential, but I don't know if I can... I don't know why I can't shoot through the windows, but there we go. Maybe if I just... Is that not glass? I smash that window. Let her out, and then shoot her in the face. Because I'm just kind like that, you know? Um, let's climb through. And normally what happens, you climb through a window, and everyone follows you. Like that, for example. So I'm just in here solely for food. And I'm just going to double check. Nice little breakfast bar there. I like it. Um, bell pepper. <laughs> um, I'm not going to take anything I've got to cook because I'm lazy as shit on this. Take the watermelon. And canned soup I will also take. Right, so time to head to the next house. And I'm just going to basically it's just food shopping. So the more canned stuff and uh, like tuna and soup that I can get, the better. And I'm just going to smash the windows. I'm not doing anything kind of stealthily today. 
just an in and out mission, so to speak. All right, crisps and I'm definitely taking a banana though. Burger, corn, ice cream, radish, salmon can fuck off. Uh, what else have we got? There's nothing there. Let's just see if there's any nice. Bo oh, I'll take this whiskey though. Too much whiskey for a man. I think my guy's a light drinker as well, so he gets bladdered off just like knocking at the bottle. I, th I think that was one of his traits. Uh, this one's just open. It's worrying. Okay, can beans. I think I do actually need a can opener as well. Shit. Take the ramen. I fucking love ramen. Um, I'm just going to have a little drink. Okay, so there's a bit of a problem. I actually haven't got a can opener. And I don't think you can do it like in um, in real life, so to speak, where you could just you know rub it across the ground and do the whole survival trick um, of of that. Ah, there we go, can opener. So this is a pretty good haul anyway. Um, there's a lot of decent, non-perishable food, and I've got stuff which can and will last me hopefully for um, a few weeks at least especially when I'm just doing the building of a base so I won't have to run out and do a load of crap so I can always come back down this way as this is really close to my base so I'm just going to head back up and unpack all this so it's now the next morning and I'm hiding behind a tree cutting down logs and I'm going to completely reinforce and rebuild my base um, ideally I'm going to go onto these top two floors and I'm probably going to cut back in about a week's time uh, and show you all what I've done or haven't done. Right so it's more or less a week later now and I've done quite a bit of work to the base so I've added this extended wall which looks a million times better than that one because my carpentry skills got better. Obviously added a few storage boxes everywhere, a bit of flooring because I was a bit bored and um, yeah so the stairs up and then this has all been fenced off and uh, yeah these stairs as well I did initially go up here thinking I'd be able to walk on the roof but I fell through the roof so I had to floor all this down as well and uh, yeah so it looks pretty good I'm gonna build another level up um, when I get the time and put the farming up there because I can't really see what's going on um, I'll just show you what I mean, just bear with me, just run down. I can't actually see because of the the actual overgrown grass where my plants are. So there you go, info, so let's have a look. So we've got a young broccoli, uh, it's well watered. So we've got a few bits of broccoli, but you can normally see the actual growth stages. So what I'm going to do is get a sledgehammer go and find a sledgehammer and knock through here and build my own door so i can just go right up and into my bedroom instead of having to go all the way through and i also need food as well because i've had a shit ton while i've been building so i've arrived at the other industrial bit that i hadn't actually looted yet so i think this is my best bet for a sledgehammer and i'm just going to chop this door down and take the hinges as well and the doorknob I think I need more door hinges than that, so if there's another door in here, I'll chop that down for the sake of hinges. And um, there's another shotgun there, I can come back and get that later. I'm quite happy with the pistol at the moment. And um, yeah, it doesn't seem to be an incredible amount of loot, unfortunately. Um, I've got a shit ton of rope at home, and always take nails. But yeah, not a lot. Uh, fill that water bottle just have a little drink there's sandbags there as well I could make sandbag walls but I thought I actually thought there'd be a lot more in here than there is oh shit okay just gonna kill this guy he's dead 
Okay, so let's just see what's inside. Crowbar, flashlight. Nails will take, and I'm not going to bother with anything else. Um, so I'm going to have to check. Oh, what's this place? That looks like a school of some sort, I think. Just have a walk around. I smash this door in and get some more hinges. So yeah, um, basically the idea with the base is to just keep going, more or less. Um, how did that not have hinges on? Um, and just keep building it up and up and up. That is if we can find a sledgehammer, otherwise I'm kind of froze for the moment in what I want to do. I had a kind of bit of a plan in mind. It's not the best base. I've seen some absolutely amazing ones. Uh, that people have made like work of art kind of things but it does the job so I'm just gonna have a look around here and try and find this elusive sledgehammer I've checked all the buildings up north and decided to come back down to the one that I'd forgotten which is right by my base so hopefully there's some stuff in here I've got a lot of uh, nails door hinges and stuff like that so it's not been a completely wasted trip hopefully uh, there we go first thing which is good. So I'm just going to pop that in there and I'm going to have to go straight back to base because I'm not going to be able to carry a lot, I don't think. This is just maybe something small I can take with me. Um, Turn of nails. And no, nah, right, okay. So I'm going to go back to base, knock that through, and build the two doors. So it's the next morning and I've managed to build the doors, um, so there's the first one, nothing really too flashy about it, it's just, yeah, it makes my life a lot easier, and I'm going to go down to the centre again and go on a food run, um, and once I've done that, hopefully build some light fixtures and then head to probably the asylum or the fire station, uh, I need a new axe, as mine is completely fucked. Um, it's down to about a third of its condition so first things first is still food um, all my fruit and stuff that I'd picked up from the houses has actually gone rotten so I had to bin it so all I've got left is one can of beans, uh, some dry rum and noodles and I think that's it, maybe two bottles of pop and yeah my, my veg doesn't seem to be growing that well at all so I've been watering it and hopefully it'll come to fruition soon um, but yeah, so I'm just going to have a look into this restaurant. I'm not too sure if I've been in here before. I think I might have, but I'm just checking if I've missed any non-perishables. Um, I'm also looking for garbage bags as well. Simply because uh, I need to make rain catches. And there's a gas can as well. This is going to come in massively handy for when I make Molotov cocktails. Um, just to kill a shit ton of zombies at the same time. Um and that could be when I go down to the fire station or the asylum. I assume them places are going to be quite busy. There's some pie. Oh, it's fucking rotten. That's just rotten cake. Oh, it's a cupcake, though. I'm going to have that cupcake. Could be the last cupcake I eat. There we go. Happy. Right, so this looks like a cake shop, obviously. You can see the, uh, whatever that says on there. I don't know. And, um,. Yeah, hopefully I might just eat some flour or something. Pepper, uncooked TV dinner. I might have to start cooking soon. Right, so we've got chips and noodles, which is good. And what else we got? Fucking nothing. Um, let's have a drink out of the toilet. Got to be done. And, I mean, I've got a bit of perishables now. Uh, I could always... You know, resort to eating butter, but it's a bit scatty to be honest. So I'm gonna drop this stuff off and um, make some light sources and then head to the asylum. So I've reached the southern part of Bedford Falls on my way to the asylum, and there's a massive zombie problem. Um, not the worst I've seen on the game, but it's bad enough. And I only bought one box of. 9mm rounds out with me, uh, a few bits of food and water. So I'm going to stop at the 
Daisy style fire station, I think it is, which is on the way to the asylum. Providing I can duck and dodge these fuckers. I think this is it. Um, it seems like it's the the right place. Is it? Yeah, it is right. So they've um, implemented a Daisy fire station, which is really cool. Uh, I think the airfield that I went to earlier as well um, was also a Daisy building. So I'm just going to have to run away from these group of uh, pesky bastards and uh, equip this into my primary and this takes quite a while unfortunately and I'm not going to have time to do that so I'm just going to have to run a bit further down and then I'm going to have to work out how I can smash through the gate to primary my eyesight's so shit though like my perception's really bad Okay, right, there we go. So, fuck off. Ugh. And my guy's not incredible with an axe either. Um, it reminds me of them, like, inflatable hammers. The axe is really good on this as well. It's just, that's how shit my fella is. Fuck off. Especially when, like, I don't give him a chance to swing. Like that, for example. Oh, shit. And get caught in a tree. I've had to come into a nearby hotel, uh, as you can tell I've got a few friends wanting to come in and join me and uh, get some room service with me, um, not like that, it's not that type of hotel, I don't think, um, so hopefully they keep pistol ammo in Bedford Falls hotels, um, I mean I should be able to pick up quite a bit of food, there's some really good places to make bases without deliberately rhyming anything there, um, there's yeah, decent stuff everywhere really, and you could, if you wanted to, make a, uh, a really decent base in one of these. It'd be hard to fortify, but exactly the same as the airfield, the uh, the reward would be amazing. Oh, there's a zombie in there as well. Oh shit, there's two zombies in there. Janitor zombies, I think. Okay. They're both dead. Right, so if I just shot that over and just check all these. So if the worst comes to worst, I can at least go home with some good literature. Uh, I might have to stay in here for the night again. Not stay in here again, but I never seem to make it to the place I want to go first, which is unfortunate. I normally have to stay somewhere and yeah, generally be a bit shit at stuff. So I'll definitely take the flashlight. And uh, I'm going to look for some pistol rounds because that's the only thing that's going to help me. Either that or a shotgun with shotgun rounds, but I can't see that happening. So I've managed to find quite quickly 20 pistol rounds, which is a great start. And uh, hopefully there's some more in these lockers. Uh, baseball bat and sock. Two random things to put in a, uh, in a locker. Baseball bat and sheets. Sleeping sheets. Alright, so I've only actually got 20. So I could do with some more. Um, I don't know if I checked all them correctly. Um, yeah, I think I did. Da -da -da. Yeah. Right, so I'm just going to continue on and uh, try and find some more. Because there's a shit ton of. Right, I could just walk through walls now, which is. Which is fine. Um, let's see if there's anything in the toilet. So they normally keep them in bars anyway. Um, I remember Twiggies in West Point used to have quite a bit of good stuff behind the bar. Um, this one just looks like it's got cigarettes and peanuts. I will take them peanuts though. If I can get them. Come on! I've now had to come across the road as a few zombies broke in and the windows weren't secure and I've got no planks with me so I'm going to stay in this hotel across the road and the fire station's literally just down the way I'm facing now so I'll be going there in the morning and yeah I can just put my feet up for the night and uh, hopefully stay alive and eat peanut butter on my own. So I've woke up bright and early the next day in this kind of fancy hotel with a nice little garden maze 
And I managed to find 30 rounds for the pistol, so I'm just going to run back down to the Daisy style fire station. Or just fire station, whatever you want to call it. Um, I don't think 30 rounds is going to get me four. Uh, I should just get back with, better with the axe, but it's uh, it's more fun shooting stuff in the head, to be honest. Um, and like I said, if my shotgun hadn't have broke earlier, then, you know, wouldn't have a problem and I'd be able to clear this up really easily. That's the first clip gone already. Um, it's a bit of a shame. <laughs> I don't know how much I'm going to have. I do like the pistol on this. It's just the shotgun's just spread so quick and it's just amazing. And there's still a shit ton of them down here. And that's my ammo out. Fuck. Right, okay. So I'm just going to try and sneak, maybe. Uh, that's not going to happen, is it? Shit. Um, how the fuck am I going to get into there? I mean, I could smash the window. Maybe I'll just... I'll, right, I'll go to the asylum and then hopefully get some ammo in the asylum. Because that seems like an unlikely place to keep ammunition. And um, I'll come back. Definitely come back. Finally, after about a day and a half, including what you've just seen, um, I think I've reached the mental asylum. Or insane asylum, I should say. I think that's a bit more PC. Um, this place is absolutely huge. Kind of shorter island. Kind of feel to it. So I'm going to have to stay here tonight. So I'm not going to smash any windows. Unless I have to. Um, hopefully I can just jimmy this open. Um, oh, oh shit he's about to do it then he's definitely about to do it I'm just going to see if that, no, that zombie hasn't trailed me so that's fine um, yeah right so climb through and I, I suspect there's going to be quite a few zombies in here um, maybe I'm not too sure there's a nice little waiting room so let's just go through so this is proper high security stuff, so you could do a walking dead and uh, and build a massive, monstrous kind of shutter island style prison base if you wanted to. Um, and there's a waiting room as well, so uh, eat some of these. I'll take stuff on the way out, but I'm trying to find ammo, so there should be an armory somewhere. It's maybe some kind of riot stuff in, I'm not too sure. So, these are all the offices. So yeah, the buildings of Bedford Falls, anyway, are really, really good. Um, it's extremely impressive, to be honest. It's the uh, the best I've played thus far, anyway. My, uh, my favourite. So, I'm just going to eat some more crisps. Chips. Chips. Um, so yeah, right, let's just head on through. Pretty nice checkered floor. Reminds me of um, ah, fucking Twin Peaks, the dream scene with the uh, the kind of the backward shit going on. Um, no food in these. That's pretty annoying. Okay, so where does this lead? I need to get to like the high security bit. So. It's just another shitty office. Okay, what have we got here? Right. Okay, so this is just geared up to fuck. This is obviously like the kind of pharmaceutical part. Oh shit. Right, I'm just gonna get into the. Wow, well, where the fuck did these guys come from? Right, let's just call them over and uh, ask these bitches a question. Right, okay. There's one. Where's the other fucker? And there he is. Like I said, my eyesight's fucking dreadful on this game. Surely you should be hitting the deck. And there we go. Is he dead? Yeah, right, okay. 
So, I don't know what the fuck just happened there. Um, are these padded? Is that a padded room? Um, okay. A bit weird. Ah, yeah. uh, right, okay. So, it's the hospital beds. It's pretty complex, this. It's a complex complex. Um, I still need to find the fucking armory. Oh, shit, that's outside. Shit. Did he get in? Oh, fuck, I'll just close this behind me. Um, right, so it's got to be this way, I think. That's another... There's a fridge there. What you got? Nothing. The, the rotten shit. So, yeah, the power did go off quite a while ago, which is a bit of a shame. Uh, some more beds. So I could sleep in here. Um, quite easily. Quite nice to have a little snooze. There's the garden again. And um, I'm going to sleep in, in here. This seems like the, the safest bet, I think. Um, and I'm going to sleep on this patient's bed and explore in the day like tomorrow morning. It's now the next morning and I've just found the kitchen. So I'm just taking all that I can from here. Um, some pretty rare stuff. I haven't seen much coffee until I got here. Some more canned soups, some chips, and um, yeah, some good stuff. Some ramen noodles, another pistol, which I really don't need. Just could do with some more ammo. Um, some chocolate, which is always good. Uh, tuna, I'm going to have to take. And uh, chips as well. So. I mean, I could always go back up to the the airfield, but I can't really be bothered um, going all the way up there just to get pistol ammo. There was some spare that I couldn't bring back, I think. Um, so, yeah, I think I can find it in here somewhere. There's a shitload of fridges which aren't any good to me now, but if I would have come here when it first got to Bedford Falls, then they would have been of great use. So let's just try through. These kind of locked, locked places. So they've locked away some bins. Not too sure why. And uh, there we go. There's a box of bullets. So that's what you're looking for. So I'm going to open them up. Um, drag my axe into there. And uh, equip my pistol and head on into the rest of the hospital. Or asylum. Or whatever you want to call it. So I don't know what's in here. And... Alright, we could be in business. Yes, we are in business, right. So I'm going to shut this over. And um, fill up. I like the way there's a bed in here. This could just actually be your room. Um, and I'm going to take the shotgun as well. And just put the pistol in my bag. And I'm going to go and try and clear out the south end towards the fire station. I keep forgetting what it is. I don't know why. Um, so I'm just going to stock up here and head down there. I finally reached the fire station having to kill quite a few zombies on the way. Um, and I'm obviously going to have to kill quite a few more at the moment. And um, I've stupidly had to drop my axe and my pistol because I was running like... Um, I don't know. I just wasn't running basically so uh, it was a bit of a pain. So I had to drop quite a lot of gear. Um, I will find another axe quite easily. Luckily my house is by um, a lot of industrial stuff. And I'm just waiting for these zombies to bunch before I kill them. And I've got a shit ton of shotgun shells. I've got a load at home. And now I've got a brand new shotgun. Um, oh shit. Fuck. Nearly got me the fucker. Okay. Alright. So. Uh, yeah it's not much of a problem. If I do just completely rinse these shotgun shells. Um, but this could take some time. I'm not too sure how long it will take. It's just to get it so I can smash the window and uh, get into the fire station. As, like I said, I haven't got my axe. I can't chop through the door anymore. So, and uh, my guy's shitting himself. Extreme panic. I haven't got any beta blockers, so he's taking forever to reload, which is uh, a bit annoying. But there you go. So I'm just going to call these and uh, try and bunch them again. And then uh, we should be able to should be able to go through. Oh shit, there's one behind me. Um, there we go. Are we all right? I 
think we might be alright for a sec. Just gonna do this while I reload. That's one. Uh, it's always one, isn't it? Fucking sit down. I think. I mean, there's gonna be loads that that just turn up out the blue, so I'm gonna have to make this quite quick anyway. Come on. Right. So I'm just gonna kill this one, and I'm gonna smash my way in. I think this is glass. Yeah. Right. So let's just climb through. And uh, not exactly the same layout as the Daisy one. Looks exactly the same from uh, inside. And hopefully there's some some good gear. So I'm going to take the nails. Um, I should probably take the batteries as well. And uh, just check what's what's going on. Um, grab all. And grab all. It's not going to be long before something does follow me into it. So a good idea to close that and I'll probably shit my pants when uh, I go to go back outside and he's just waiting there for me ok so we've got another flashlight I'm going to take as I said I've, in the process of making light sources when I do get home so uh, let's just go through here American flag obviously uh, don't need any of them oh shit Uh, okay, so I'm just going to reload a few shells and head upstairs. Uh, there is actually a uh, pretty cushy bedroom in here, so. Oh shit. Fucking trout. Um, a trout, I don't know why I called it a trout. So, right, let's just head upstairs just quickly. Um,. There's the door. I'm just gonna shut that behind me. Just getting a bit cautious now because it is getting later as well. Um, ah, right, so I can have a drink from. Oh shit! Has the water gone off? No, ah, right. Okay, the sinks are still working. I don't know why I thought I could drink from a urinal anyway. To be honest. Ah, pool table. Nice. Nice. Uh, what else we got? All right, kitchen. Right, so just check through here, and uh, then go and check upstairs. I decided to sleep in the staff room, and um, I'm just checking upstairs before I go home. Uh, there was a few zombies that had crawled in, so and this one right there as well. So I'm just gonna go upstairs and handle that. Don't know why these two have decided to just chill out, and it looks like someone has kind of tried to start getting some shit together up here just to, you know, maybe keep themselves alive for a bit longer but nothing of anything that I can use um, I've got enough flashlights now, so I'm just going to head back to the uh, homestead I think that's, if that's what you want to call it um, and uh, hopefully get back alive, I have to kill some more Zeds on the way, but that's fine Right guys, so it's now the end of the month, uh, more or less the end of August, and I did a bit of building once I got back, uh, made the light fixtures, one upstairs, one downstairs, they work, and I've added a third floor onto the kind of treehouse thing, so it now looks like a kind of Mayan temple, um, but unfortunately my plants rotted, so the beginning of September, I'm going to have to plant some new ones, and I'm probably going to do that upstairs next to when I build a rain catcher. So thanks very much for watching guys and I will see you soon.